The main cause of first trimester miscarriage is an abnormal set of chromosomes in the embryo. And the reason for that usually is just random chance. Let's take it back a little bit. Chromosomes are basically the chapters in a book of DNA. DNA, if you remember back to biology, is basically the instruction manual for life and therefore the chromosomes are the chapters of that instruction manual. We all have 23 chromosomes. We all have two sets of those chromosomes. One we got from the sperm source that created us and one we got from the egg source that created us. And turns out, if you think back to biology, there's something called meiosis and our eggs and sperm have to separate those two sets of chromosomes out so that we have one set because then you're the egg source and you're the sperm source. So we need a single set to join and create a new human. And that is a difficult job and it doesn't go well all of the time. In fact, the majority of the time we have abnormalities. And so when we're talking about the causes of miscarriage, the majority of the time, actually the cause of a miscarriage is just bad luck. It's random chance that the egg or the sperm has an abnormal chromosome count at the time that the two got together. Unfortunately for us, it's more off in the egg. There was a study that was published recently that shows it's about 85% of the time that the egg is the source of the chromosomal error and the other 15% it's the, it's the sperm. Um, and so that likelihood of an egg having an abnormal chromosome count actually increases as we get older, which is why women are more likely to have miscarriages as they get older, because the eggs that they're ovulating are more likely to have a, an abnormal number of chromosomes in them. So that's the major cause of chromosomal issues in miscarriage. There's also rarely a different form of chromosomal issue. This is not found very frequently, maybe like 5% of people who are having recurring miscarriages, meaning two or more miscarriages in a row. And about 5% of those folks will find out that they have an inherent issue with the way that their chromosomes are organized in their body that leads to more and more than, even more than what is average of those eggs or sperm having a chromosomal mismatch and that is called a translocation. That is something that can be tested for. Um, so if you are having recurring pregnancy losses, you should see a physician to talk about it.